For five centuries, the Western world firmly believed a single myth. The Amazon basin was empty, an untouched wilderness, too challenging to support large, complex societies. It was seen as a green cathedral ruled by nature, with rumors that only a handful of tribes still roam the vast jungle. Then in 2024, the view changed. Modern archaeologists, using a system called LIDAR, pierced the veil of hidden mystery, revealing a secret so deep it goes back 2,500 years. This wasn't a small cluster of villages, but a meticulously planned megacity of staggering scale and complexity. This is the Amazon's ancient megacity exposed. Our story begins with a deep Amazon bustle. From chirping birds to wandering wildlife, the Amazon has been fascinating experts for decades. Securing every piece of this mystery is an emerald canopy where only the slightest bit of sunlight can enter. Then, amidst the noise of the Amazon, the scary hum of an aerial drone was heard, flying hundreds of feet above the canopy. Beneath its small structure, a pair of eyes, not human, but laser, with one single goal, to scan the forest floor and compile data points that would redefine South American history. What it uncovered was something magnificent, an ancient civilization that had come and faded long before the arrival of Columbus. It wasn't a modest settlement, but an urban behemoth hidden beneath millennia of tropical growth. Spanning more than 300 square kilometers, bigger than modern Manhattan, the discovery challenges every prior assumption about tropical urbanism. It suggests a population that might have numbered in the tens of thousands with political structures, sanitation, and the ability to worship. But then it was forgotten, buried beneath the timeless power of nature leaving us with nothing more than a mystery that would likely have gone unsolved if it weren't for modern technology. Who built this? Why did it vanish? And what can we see today? These are all questions on everyone's mind, but first we need to understand exactly how they managed to pierce the veil in the first place. You've probably heard of LIDAR, and if you haven't, don't worry. LIDAR is just a unique acronym for Light Detection and Ranging. It is a revolutionary remote sensing technology used to scan certain areas and give us a 3D depiction of what is hidden beneath the surface. So how does it work? Well, LIDAR isn't an object by itself, but a laser system that is usually mounted to a drone or aircraft. But imagine if you could shine a light powerful enough to see through the densest forest canopy. That's exactly what LiDAR does. It operates by firing billions of laser pulses at Earth. Not all of them are successful, but a small fraction of pulses manage to find tiny gaps in the forest canopy, reflecting off the forest floor, before returning to the sensor. The sensor measures precisely how long it takes for each pulse to return, and since the speed of light is constant, flight time allows for the calculation of distance to ground at centimeter level precision. Millions of these laser beams are all absorbed by the sensors, creating valuable data points to which it strips away the vegetation and provides an unobstructed, high-resolution, three-dimensional digital elevation model DEM, of the ground surface. In simple terms, it creates a digital X-ray of the Earth, revealing features like outlines, roads, and mounds. These would likely be impossible to detect through the conventional foot surveys or even radar. But here's what's truly shocking. The day of discovery was nothing short of breathtaking, a realization that we've been wrong for decades. As the raw data was processed and the canopy stripped away, the screens lit up with something unexpected. Archaeologists expected random terrain, but what they found was an unmistakable pattern. Once millions of chaotic data points coalesced, 
It was straight lines, sharp corners, and geometric precision. This wasn't random. It was impeccable, forcing researchers to stop and absorb the digital cartography. Awe filled the data center as they realized the mark of human intention, a monumental city grid. Within days, a 2,500-year-old secret was dramatically exposed to the modern world. LIDAR had done the unthinkable, transforming the Amazon from wilderness into a large archaeological landscape waiting to be read. It rolled back the clock, removing two millennia of vegetative growth, revealing the foundational truths of an ancient civilization. If LIDAR can uncover a lost city like this, what else lies buried? Drop your wildest theory below and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Now the question became clear. Who was this ancient civilization and why did they just vanish? The light gave us the location, but now we need to descend from the air deep into the heart of the Amazon to figure out exactly what happened 2,500 years ago. And if these mysteries fascinate you, you'll definitely want to stick around to find out what historical implications this discovery truly had. The location of this wonder wasn't in the Brazilian part of the Amazon as you'd expect. It was discovered in a surprising location, the Upano Valley of Ecuador. But here's where it gets interesting. The Upano Valley is a carefully engineered environment designed to maximize efficiency and social order, very much like that of the known Maya and Inca settlements we have already discovered. At the heart of the discovery are the massive platform structures, large rectangular earth mounds, 20 meters 66 feet by 10 meters 33 feet and 2 to 3 meters high. Over 6,000 structures were found buried beneath the lush vegetation. But here's where it gets better and even makes it feel like a modern city. These structures served as residential houses, administrative buildings, and ceremonial centers where they paid homage to their gods, all clustered around central plazas. But this is nothing new, and almost every historical kingdom or empire follows this same copy-paste structure. What blows the mind of scientists is how they created a sophisticated transportation system that connects everything. LIDAR uncovered an intricate network of straight roads and avenues. Not only were they elevated, but extended more than 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles. The longest of them are 25 kilometers, 16 miles, running through hills and valleys. They were engineered pathways connecting the main city center to smaller satellite towns. It is basically how metropolitan areas came into existence. Thanks to these sophisticated roads, it facilitated trade and offered them a pathway for controlling a civilization. Yet, a city of this grand scale cannot exist without solving humanity's biggest and earliest problem, hunger. But how exactly do you apply agriculture when you barely see any sunlight? That's where this civilization was once again a step ahead. They weren't just builders, but masters in agriculture and engineering. LIDAR imagery reveals extensive evidence of complex hydraulic systems used to raise fields and avoid seasonal flooding. But they went the extra mile for yields using Terra Preta, Amazonian dark earth. With agriculture secured and storage systems in place, what were they going to do about the ridiculous annual rainfall? Leaving it will just destroy all the hard work. So the Upano people mastered hydraulic engineering. To cope with the immense Amazonian rainfall, LIDAR revealed something truly fascinating. Drainage channels and earthworks designed specifically to manage water flow. It prevented erosion and flooding in the urban core. The city wasn't built despite the jungle. It was built along with it, allowing both humanity and nature to flourish side by side. But realizing the architecture is only the first step to this vital story. 
The existence of the city is now a fact, but its story still remains incomplete. Who were these master builders? Where did they go? And what does their forgotten existence force us to fundamentally change about the history books we read today? Since making headlines in 2024, the LIDAR findings prompted a dramatic re-evaluation of the historical accuracy of the Amazon basin. And this is where archaeology comes in. Thanks to a few findings such as organic materials and the analytics of ceramics, experts estimate this city to have been built between 500 BCE and 600 CE. Once it was built, they believe it flourished for the better part of at least 1,000 years bringing it on par with the Roman Empire and the formative periods of the Mayan civilization in Central America. Since it predates the Incas, it is safe to assume that it was the societal and foundational power of the region. Unfortunately, the name of the civilization, or at least those of the builders, is lost to time. Material culture links them to the Upano, Quilomope, and subsequent culture groups, which were prevalent in the region. While some believe they could have been part of the Andean cultures, this doesn't seem plausible based on how they modeled their social structure and developed a unique sense of architecture in the tropical lowlands. In layman's terms, the Andeans preferred higher ground in the mountains. Thanks to LIDAR, which confirms their existence, we now know that civilization is not solely a product of temperature climates or mountain valleys but is even capable of emerging in the hostile and dominating ecology of the Amazon rainforest. Yet the great mystery of it all still remains. Why did they vanish? The answer doesn't lie in civil war, but in a culmination of pressures and events. Most likely is the environmental strain, where all safety measures fell to flooding or drought. It might have even been endemic, with disease ravaging the ruling class, both of these would have led to social unrest and perhaps people scattering into the outskirts. So while we may not know exactly what happened, one thing remains important. The discovery of this for Amazonian history is immense. Even more, it forces a complete rewriting of the introductory chapter of the continent. Yet the greatest takeaway is perhaps the simplest. A city five times larger than Manhattan remained completely invisible for two millennia. This discovery forces us to redraw the archaeological map and reminds us how little we truly know about our past. If such a colossal secret could be guarded by the Earth for so long, what else remains hidden, waiting to be rediscovered? This revelation changes everything. A megacity that isn't just an archaeological find, but a statement, suggesting that we have barely scratched the surface of the Earth. The fact remains, a 300 square kilometer city, larger than that of most European medieval capitals, remained hidden for 2,500 years, covered by a green wall of nature. Isn't it arrogant to think we already know it all? What else could be lying beneath the surface of our planet? Now we must consider the broader implications of global history. If the Amazon, the wild frontier of mystery, could hold such crazy secrets, what might be hidden beneath the Sahara? What about the ice of Antarctica and even the great river deltas? Doesn't this compel us to recognize that human history is not recorded on parchment or carved in stone? but woven into the Earth itself, and perhaps all we need is better technology to reveal it all. This ancient Amazon city stands as a testament to the ingenuity and adaptations of indigenous American societies, but the work is far from over. Multiple LIDAR campaigns revealed the city, more questions, and the reality that we might not know everything. So what other lost civilizations do you think are still undiscovered? Is there an unimaginable miracle we haven't found elsewhere in the Amazon? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you are excited for this journey of discovery, hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next one.